guys, Dave Jr. with Well Built Equipment. Follow us at Aerial Lift Repairs on Facebook or www.aerialliftrepairs.com. Today we're working on a 2014 CMC 78 HD. We get a lot of questions from our customers about how to properly grease their tracks and make sure that they don't wear out prematurely. Today I'm going to show all you in the internet world how we go about doing that. I have already removed the inspection plate from the side of the undercarriage. You can see these are the two mounting bolts here. On this particular model, CMC has a grease whip down here which makes it easier to put grease into the tracks and keep them properly lubricated. In the center of this tip you're going to see a small grease fitting. That's the first thing we're going to remove. So you're going to want to put a large wrench on the back side and then pull that out. Now I can push this back in here and you'll see that that flexible hose is out of the way. If you look closely inside the track now, you're going to see that that tiny hose threads into a much larger fitting. In order to relieve all the pressure on the tracks, we're going to have to remove this hose out first and then pull the large fitting out from behind it. So I'm going to go ahead and take my wrench here. Get that spinning. All right, there's your grease fitting. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that you don't lose the tiny brass crush washer that's on the end of that. You go ahead and set that over to the side. Now, if you look inside there, there's a much larger fitting compressed in there. We're gonna take a large wrench, loosen that up next. And once it's free spinning, we're gonna cheat. There you go, you can see the whole grease fitting's out now. Now if you look inside that tiny hole in there, you're gonna see that the grease is shot out inside. Now the tracks aren't fully compressed. I took a floor jack and stuck it under here in order to keep the slack up, otherwise it's gonna make it really hard to get back on. If you come down on the end, your tensioning is down here. We're gonna take a sledgehammer and a piece of wood and we're gonna beat this back in here to remove all the grease from inside the tracks. All right, now you can see once the tensioner is pushed in, we have slacks down in the tracks. So you can see on this side, we already removed the tracks that are worn out. We're gonna take the time to clean off all the debris and everything, because you might not get another chance. There's your tensioner right there. We just pry it out of the end of the machine. And then we wanna make sure that all the rust is removed from there so that there's a clean sliding surface. You can see I already started to clean it up. We're gonna take our Scotch-Brite disc, put it into the roll lock and start cleaning it off. You wanna make sure that you get off the surface rust but don't go too far down to the paint where you're going to cause it to start rusting again. Uh, and then we're going to do the same side inside, same thing inside the slides on the actual carrier housing itself. If you don't have one of our air tools handy, you can use green Scotch-Brite pads. They are available in your paint department at your local hardware store. They come in big sheets or they can be cut to fit. Uh, what you don't want to do is use some sort of sandpaper that's going to leave grooves in there. You want to use something that won't damage the metal surface. So now that we have it all cleaned up, we're going to take our grease gun and throw a little grease on there. Do the same thing on the inside. all over the ear and then 
and we are ready to reassemble it. There we go. Okay, now we got the track tensioner inside the base of the machine. We just want to make sure that it's going to slide freely before we start putting the tracks back on. You don't want anything to be binding up or sticking on these slides. If those start sticking, that's going to cause your tracks to get slacked and it's going to bind up and it's going to start wearing those things out a lot faster. Okay, so we got our new track on here on this side of the machine. I just want to show you guys, we took the fittings, took some brake clean to them, cleaned off everything on there. I uh, want to make sure that the brass gets back on there so that it does actually seal. Same thing with the hose adapter, we want to put that brass fitting on there. We are going to go ahead and thread all those in and then we will grease up the tracks. Alright, as you can see we have our new tracks on now. All of our grease fittings are back together and we're ready to start greasing up. To fill the tracks, we highly suggest you use a better quality grease than you normally do. We prefer to use the Lucas Red and Tacky here in the shop. It seems to hold up the best and compress the least. Uh, you want to pull them tight so that all the track is tight up against the running gear under here. After you're done with that, don't forget to put your inspection plate back on and push the hose back through the hole so it's not stuck in a bend. And follow us on Facebook at Aerial Lift Repairs or at our website, aerialliftrepairs.com, for more updates and tech tips.